Hey everybody, Dom here, and today I want to show you people something special, something awesome. As you people may or may not know, I'm an art student, I am a painter, I am an artist. And so over the years I've accumulated a bunch of artwork that I've made, and today I want to show you guys some of it. So without further ado, let's, let's do that, it should be pretty fun. And here's the first painting. Um, before I begin, I want to say this is YouTube, so the quality isn't that great. Make sure to watch in the highest quality possible, I guess 1080p to see the most detail possible. Anyways, here's the first painting. I made this in 2013. It's of the studio, like the classroom, where where you where 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 we all paint cuz I mean you're right, I'm a student, right? Like I said before. On top left there's like a little pig hanging from the ceiling. That that's just like some weirdness. Okay, enough of that. This is 6 foot by 4 foot and it's acrylic. It's the largest canvas I ever made and painted on and I actually made it by, by hand I bought the wood I brought it home and oh my god I, I freaking like walk like three four kilometers I don't know million kilometers let's say I don't let's say 20 20 kilometers with like a bunch of two by fours oh my god that was crazy why did I do that I should took the metro or something okay anyways uh, no the reason why I did that because I didn't think I could take the metro I'm holding like gigantic pieces of wood and that was that was like it's the weirdest things you remember. The weird things you remember. The one day that I, I spent, that, that like, I killed my back and my legs and everything. It was raining. Well, it was kind of, like, really moist. And I brought a bunch of 2x4s home so I could so I could make a canvas. Eh. Weird. My university's downtown, by the way, and I live, like, sort of in the suburbish area. Still in, still city-ish, though. Anyways, yeah, so I painted this in class, blah, blah, made it, stretched the canvas over it, which is also a crazy process that really hurts your fingers when you're, like, stretching canvas. Not the easiest thing in the world. Anyways, um, I'm sucky at taking pictures. Note that the bottom left corner looks kind of shadowish. That's because of the shadow there. There's, there's like there was, there's an object in the way. I, I couldn't, I, I could not move it. It's gigantic. Anyways, right now this painting resides in my sister's room in uh, my parents' house. Then it's on a red wall, wall which kind of helps it. Mm. I don't have much else to say, so let's move on to the next picture. Um, whoops. Oh yeah, I forgot. I originally made it in black and white, so this is how it looks in black and white. And in the background you see the studio and stuff. Good times, good times. Let's move on to the next picture for real now. And here's another acrylic painting. This one's, I don't know, about four and a half, three and a half times something-ish feet, like, I don't know. It's quite a bit smaller than the last canvas. About half as much, so I guess three times four sounds about right. I made this in 2014. This is a picture of, like, some, some sort of suburban landscape. Not so, yeah, yeah, suburban. And there's a bunch of pipes. Like, people are being farmed. That's the whole, that's the whole idea behind this. It's not, like, a model of a city. It's, it's actually, like, people are being farmed and stuff. It, the detail's hard to see, but there's, like, there's small amounts of people around. Eh, not many, though. This, I started off by, by um, making a bunch of focal points. Well, two focal points. Just mainly for the grid in the top and the grid in the bottom. Well, actually, four focal points. Focal points and rulers, man. Those things are awesome in terms of painting sometimes. Uh, sometimes. And that's how I got all the grid lights to look like kind of realistic and, and depthish. The top part came a little weird, but I think it looks more menacing. Like, with, with the pipes coming towards you, you know? It's it's freaky. It's awesome. If I were to change this, I would probably make the sky, um, like the roof, not as pink. Maybe something else. The buildings on the bottom, they have, like, realistic shadowing compared to where the lights are on top. Sort of. Like, it, it, it kind of works. Painting's not like an exact science, okay? So I gotta say that. In terms of, um... What I like to do is, I like to help depth out. Like, you, the, the, in real life, or something, it would all be green, but the blue... You know, not, okay, what I'm saying is, as you go more in distance, you see it, it turns slightly bluer than versus the green grass. This is because I want to help out the depth. I don't want... It doesn't matter that to me as much that the color's a little weird. That It doesn't make sense. It helps the depth do, by doing that. Anyways, there's some roads and stuff, some buildings. Oh, buildings are pretty fun to make. This took a long time to make. Oh my god. Eh. Okay, let's move on to the next picture. And here's another acrylic painting. Well, two. It's it's technically a diptych. What? Dick pick? No, diptych. Ha ha ha. Weird that you thought it said that. I don't. I don't know. It's a weird joke. I don't know. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Anyways, it's a t it's two canvases. They're pretty slim and tall. I have no idea what the measurements are. Like I've said, but I haven't said it. But it's probably clear from here, from from what I've been saying in the past so far. Measurements not my thing. It's let's say it's four or five feet tall. No, 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 four, four, four. Yeah, okay. This is uh, not 
100% the correct orientation. I suppose you could you could orientate them however you like. The run the one on the right is um like sidewalk and streets, right? I tried to sort of make the ground sort of texture came out okay. In terms of uh, the yellow line, the white line, actually after I've, after I finished bake, making this picture, I went outside and actually measured it, and it's not the it's not the same as as the lines outside in the streets and stuff. So yeah, not the best paintings. Eh, if I could do it again, I'd I'd probably make. Nah, I think it's okay looking a little weird. Not not the correct, not 100 percent how the actual street looks. It's supposed to be a chunk of concrete from the street. You know what I mean? And on the left side, it's uh, what looks like bacteria. People think it's actually footsteps, and there's also a bunch of pieces, pieces, pictures of face and stuff. I made this, this painting, these two paintings, this, this diptych. It counts as one painting. As uh, the idea is behind it, when you're walking down the street and you walk around someone, and they're kind of freaky, you know, someone with a hood or someone like you know shifty, someone at nighttime, you're like scared, you know. Me, I'm a six foot tall man, and I'm still, you know. A little bit freaked out by some some weirdo that comes across, you know, weirdos walking down the street at night. Uh, but then I think to myself, perhaps I scare other people. I scare elderly. I am I am a teenager. Well, not a teenager. I am an adult, and I am six foot tall, and uh, I'm a huge person. I'm scary, right? So other people, I try to like not be a scary person. Uh, you know what I mean? I don't want to be a person you walk slightly around, and that's that's what's, that's what goes on. I don't know. Am I a scary person to you people? I don't know. And that's th that's basically the idea behind this painting. The, the idea of walking past someone and being like, Oh, I'm scared of this person. Let's walk slightly around them and stuff. And so I'm on the receiving and giving end of this, this sort of walk around thing. Almost forgot to mention, I also made this in 2014. Uh, yeah. Okay, so let's move on to the next picture. And here's another quick picture I made. I made this in late 2014. It's a picture of my grandmother's basement. Uh, the weird story behind this. I went to her house and I was like, yo, I'm going to take some pictures of your basement for a second. And she was like, oh, okay, whatever. Because <laughs> it was hard to explain. My, my grandmother is Italian. She doesn't speak English. I don't speak Italian. So it doesn't really work. You know, in terms of conversating or conversing or whatever. Anyways, so I made this picture. It took long. This picture is, uh, let's say, three and a half feet by two and a half feet-ish. I don't know. Something like that. This this area, this place to me, it has a special place in my heart. It's I spent a lot of my childhood here, you know, in my grandmother's house in her basement, playing around. She has a, a kitchen in her basement. That's how it works. Uh, yeah. This picture, my sister, my other sister, the, the, not the one I mentioned before, really is interested in this picture. I think I'll give it to her as a birthday gift or something along those lines. I don't know. Here's another situation where I, I, I you know, the walls aren't yellow and blue in the house. I just want to accentuate depth. So I put things a certain certain way in color, in terms of colors and stuff. Also the, the stove, that's, that's not that blue. That's kind of weird. Blue stove like that. Really odd. So yeah, accentuating depth, like like the previous picture, or the one before it, or whatever. You know, accentuate depth using color. That's, that's our role. So anyways, yeah, that's okay. Let's move on. Also, the, the, the table came a little weird as well. Yeah, that's a really weird tablecloth, but it kind of looks cool. I, I like it. The floor is kind of weird. Hmm. Everything else looks nice, though. I like it. Let's move on to the next picture. This picture I made it in 2013 or 2014 ish, some something around along those lines. Like let's say late 2013. It's unlike the last, the previous pictures. It's not on a stretched canvas. It's just on canvas board. It's a picture of two hands, kind of obviously looking down, and you see kind of a shadow. And I want to make it like a sidewalk thing, and so the shadow goes and kind of bends. And then top left and top right are like. Uh, what's that word? Such an A. Uh, it'll lose me at this moment in time, so whatever. Let's forget that. I said that. It's pretty good. People liked it, despite... I mean, I don't like it. This picture, sometimes you make stuff, you don't like it. This picture, it it didn't take that long to make. Unlike everything else, I like, you know, put my heart and soul into pictures. This one, I was, uh, I was like... It looked good. At a certain point, I'm like, okay, this is good. I'm solidly done at this point. So, despite everyone else liking it, it's so weird. Like people, because when I was doing like a crit in my in my paint class, everyone else was like, "Man, this picture's awesome." I'm like, uh, "Okay, well, I worked on it, and I did it, and it was okay." It's how big is this? Um, about as big as a half a flat screen TV. I don't know. Half, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's really accurate, man. <laughs> Let's move on to the next picture. 
Here's another acrylic picture on a uh, canvas board. I made this at around the same time as the previous picture, and it's roughly 70% as big as the last picture. So, about as big as a computer screen, I guess. Um, it is a picture of nothingness. It is nothing in particular. If you see something, then I failed. And actually, this is what happened in class. I failed, because someone saw a snake. You see that purple thingy? With, the, like, the, with like, the two eyeballs, it looks like? I made a snake, apparently. <laughs> So it was supposed to be non fix fix uh, factor the blah blah blah. What's that word I'm looking for? Fictitious? No. Victorious? Fix uh, figurative. Figurative. Non figurative or figurative. I forget. The one you mean. When, the one I say when I mean like there's nothing there. So you're not supposed to see something. But people saw something and so I failed that one. I think it was just joking me. My teacher was just joking about that that I failed because I, I don't think I got a bad mark. It was. It, it's pretty funny. And this whole situation is pretty funny. What I'm saying. How this was built. Originally we built. We drew a bunch of stuff like emotions like just draw an emotion right and i'm like okay so with ink paper and what just ink on, on paper then it's like okay take from this this, this stuff you drew whatever it might look like make a bunch of make a collage so i, I make a collage so i have all these shapes and things going around and stuff on top and on the right and the bottom and then my teacher like okay now i make this into a painting and i'm like okay and so I, I i took a different paper i used basically the same outline all the block and stuff just change up sort of the sort of different things in the end, it came out pretty nice, pretty balanced. I think the top left, it's like a campfire, campfire, and people are looking around it. And to the right, it's like a pizza. And the whole green part on top left is, is a giant cup. There's like the, the little lip of the cup on the right of it. On the bottom, you see a snake, and to the left, it's like a purse or something. These are just like random things. These are I clearly made, clearly, it's, it's just jumbled up. It's nothingness, right? That's the intention, and that's what I did, but I'm, I see these things in, in afterwards. On the bottom right, it's kind of like a thermostat with little, little black lines and stuff. And if you see something in this picture, tell me, because it's, it's pretty interesting. I have a picture, and you see things. Oh, in the middle, it's like a river, and the yellow thing is kind of like a raft. I don't know. Let's, okay, I can go on forever. Let's move on to the next picture. Did I mention this was acrylic? Yeah, I think I did. Okay, next picture. Oh, uh, yeah, this one was fun to make. This is another diptych. It's a cactus on the left and the right. It's sort of like, I forgot what the name of the plant is, but it, it, it based off an actual plant. Just not as red. There's more red in the plant, plant than actually what there actually is. The idea behind this was like calmness and non-calmness. Or something along those lines. I don't remember. The teacher gave a weird project. It's, uh, it, I like how it came out. This is not the greatest of pictures. Kind of darkish, but overall, this picture's great. Like, everyone that I've shown it to, they've been like, yeah, I, I like this. I, I'd hang this in my wall, on my wall somewhere or something. They're both on canvas board. Did I mention that? I don't recall. All, it's, it's acrylic paint. I only use acrylic paint at this point. It should be I should have mentioned that a long time ago. I don't use oil paint or water paint, just acrylic paint. Maybe one day I'll move it to oil paint, but I'm, I'm, I'm too poor, man. I'm too poor to buy that. <laughs> oh, mon dear. Okay. Anything else worth of noting on this? Oh, I can tell you how big they are. Let's say as big as a small computer screen. There we go. Yeah. Uh, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Let's move on to the next picture. Yet another diptych. Oh, by the way, I made the last one and this one both in, in uh, late 2014. Yeah, that sounds about right. It, this is a picture. The left one is depth and the right one is not depth. And so, given this task by my teacher, I was like, what can I draw? I will think I'll draw a bunch of pyramids and make like a pattern. And then I'll make a bunch of pyramids and like make it depthish. And So that's what I drew. It came out a little weird in the bottom, the, in the left one, in the bottom right. That came a little weird, but everything else look, looks pretty nice. I told my teacher, I lied though, this is, on the right one, you see how like there's like a pyramid missing? I told my teacher, oh, the, the idea is like, I want a, a place for your eye to escape, because it's a pattern, right? And so she bought it, but uh, that's not true, it just kind of messed up horribly, and I was like, F this, I'm just going to make it, a, I'm just going to make it all blue. And I was running out of time and stuff like that. <laughs> Good times though. It was kind of difficult to make it. I had to like, take a ruler and make so many freaking measurements, jam. Uh, the left one is just like freehand. I I made a really nice sky in the left one. Damn, that's a good sky. Oh, yeah. Um, anything else worth noting? This is again acrylic. Like I said before, I only do acrylic. No, all right. Yeah, that's okay. Let's move on to the next one. Here's an acrylic painting on Mayfair, or maybe it's like Rockland or something. Something along those lines. It's a uh, paper. This is weird. This is like something really weird. At the beginning of the semester, this is the story behind it. My teacher's like, let's do exercises, and I'm like. This is the painting class. We You normally do exercise in drawing, you know what I mean? And, because I'm, I'm taking painting and drawing and stuff like that, right? And so, yeah, it was really weird to paint for like out for an hour, just like ob observe painting. 
kind of weird because you don't normally do do that sort of painting. You normally paint. Well, I guess you could paint from observation, but it's weird with a little model and stuff. This is a woman sitting in a chair. So many people have been like, oh my god, it's such a weird dress or something. I'm like, no, it's a chair. It's a chair and a scarf coming down. And she's like a red thing on her lap. Uh, but people, it's, yeah, I, I can see how it's hard to see. When I made this picture, I was like, this neck is weird. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to put black hair. Like, she, her hair wasn't down that far, but I put it there. So now your, your, your brain automatically fixes it. You fixes it. It puts the neckline where it's supposed to be on the left side. Because you can't tell where it actually is. Right? You can't tell. There's hair in the way. So it's it's normal. It's fixed. It's perfect. Yeah. Uh, overall, I like this picture. It's, just, it's on my wall. Did I mention that? I don't know why. I just felt like putting it up one day. So it's on my wall. Let's move on to the next picture. Whoops, almost forgot. Also made in 2014. Here's another picture that's on my wall. It's also on Mayfair or Rockland paper. Or maybe double plied Rockland. This is a picture of my parents, uh, the kitchen in my parents' house. I made it using charcoal and, uh, willow charcoal. Condensed charcoal and willow charcoal. Yeah. It's pretty good. I sat at the table and just, like, looked to the left while I did it. On the table. It came out pretty good. Now, nowadays, their kitchen looks a little different. I like it. Yeah. I didn't really finish it, let's say. the Yeah, I didn't really finish it. The whole left side and the whole bottom left side, no shading. Although, yeah, yeah, it's kind of showable. You kind of see it's not the greatest because of that. But what are you going to do? I guess one day... No, no, screw that. I'm never going to finish this. <laughs> yeah, let's move on. I keep forgetting to say what year I make things in and having edited in afterwards. This was made in 2014. Ooh, here's a fun one. This was a, a project. Where you you take a bunch of so you draw a bunch of your body parts like either using a mirror or something so I drew my face I drew my chest I drew my foot I drew my hand stuff along those lines later on I went to like a beer on girl or something you know Staples business people and photocopied that I didn't hopefully it didn't seem like a weirdo to a bunch of people making a bunch of copies of that <laughs> that was weird and then I cut it out put it into like a collage sort of thing and painted over it well colored over it way using pencil crayon this was done in a drawing class in. I made this in the year 2013, late 2013, I guess. Maybe 2014. I don't recall. So left is part of it. It's sort of like an arm and on top, if you didn't know, it looks like a candy cane or something. It's an eyeball I, drew, I cut up. My own eyeball. Yeah, kind of gruesome now that I say that. This is positioned just, just to the right of the, the previous picture that I just showed you. That's why you kind of see tape on the wall there. Fun stuff. And now you see how kind of I, how I look like, at least how I draw myself looking like. And my nipples. I have a, like, eye nipple right there. It's pretty funny. <laughs> okay, let's move on to the next picture. Here's a picture I made with condensed charcoal in early 2013. It is a self-portrait once again. The idea behind this project was, in class, you draw yourself, and in midway, you, like, rip it up, and you put it someplace differently, and then you draw over it. So, it looks a little funky, you know what I mean? But that's how, it's, that's how, that's, that, that's the nature of the project, right? And I, I kind of like the aesthetic of looking all grimy and sucky because of the, the, the tape on top of it. It just looks like a nice aesthetic, you know? It matches the, the, the cut-up nature of the paper and stuff. I like how this one turned out. I don't really look like that. I don't like a disfigured face. If I did, that'd be kind of weird. Let's move on to the next picture. This is like one of the earlier works uh, in this, this series of pictures. 2013, wow. Well, early, till, early till 2013. Yeah, okay, so let's move on. Here's a picture I made in late 2013. It's with acrylic paint on a small canvas board, about the size of your face, literally. The idea behind this project was to draw your face, draw a self-portrait, like straight on sort of thing. So it has to it had to have been like the size of your face. So this is how big that, that picture is, if you want to know. For reference, use your own face. This is a self-portrait, like I mentioned. My mom really likes this picture, so I gave it to her as a gift a long time ago. Well, in 2013, yeah. Uh, not much else to say about this picture. I kind of look like that, I suppose. It's self-portrait, so you're supposed to make how you look, so that's how I look, I guess. I don't know. Let's move on. And here's a charcoal drawing I did about two weeks ago or something. It's fairly recent, so we're going to say early 2015. Yeah. This is a picture of a model we drew in class, like a nude model sitting there. Uh, it, this is a, this, the name of the project is, uh, Palimpest. Palimpest is sort of like you draw something and then you erase it and you draw over that. So this is why the background is so visually noisy and stuff. In the center of this picture is the model with like a glove on her hand and a glove on the other hand. On the right you see her hand but holding the glove and on the left is a close-up of her face. Uh, she has a tattoo on her back which is just like like in real life that's what I saw so that's how I drew it. This picture I think it came out pretty well. 
Did I mention that the paper? It's this is just regular standard, standard run of the mill Mayfair or Rockland or whatever paper. Okay, so before we move on to the next picture, there's some things I have to say. Being a paint student, being an art student, being a drawing student, whatever. Over the years, I've seen many new models. This is just like how it works if you're if you're that kind of student. Mostly women I've drawn, but also some men. So I have drawn penis, I have drawn vagina, I have drawn boobs, stuff, all the private parts, everything. I'm just going to point that out there, mostly to get you kind of awkwarded out. And also, secondly, so then I don't, I don't, have, to, I don't have to mention in the comments. It's just, it's just the, the way of life of, of an art student. You draw nude people sometimes. The next picture is of the same model, right? But you see your breasts. So I wanted to say, point that out there for everyone. So then you could, I'll put an annotation on the screen if you want to skip it. This is it's art it's not pornography it's not pornography i understand how the next image might be offensive to some people that's why i'm giving the option to skip it so without further ado let's move on to the next picture so here's the picture as i mentioned before this is the same model same thing same stuff i also used uh, charcoal and stuff but this time i also introduced the white charcoal or not really white charcoal i forgot what the actual name is called white Pastel, I, I guess. No, I'm not. I'm not entrepreneur sure because I borrowed it from a different student. So you get some highlights that look different. It looks pretty nice. One big difference between this picture and the last is instead of views of uh, being like drawn and erased, what instead I did was use ink, uh, like a light wash of ink on on the paper, so it became like a really grayish sort of thing. I think it it made a pretty good effect. In the end, this picture came out pretty good, and uh, I, I like it. It's one of my favorite and. In fact, it was one of my favorite of my, of my teacher too. That one day that, that like I, I made this and stuff. Like she showed it up and then been like and been like this one pretty good, Dom. I'm like yeah, thanks. And it turned out pretty good. Yeah, indeed. So yeah, let's move on to the next picture. Yeah, 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 yeah. I say yeah often. That's kind of weird. And here's the last piece of art that I'll show you guys for, for today. One day in the future, if you people want to see some more. I'll do the things that are required to get pictures of my art, like go to the basement, go to my parents' house basement, and all these other things. That my art is all around the place. Like I've lent it to some people, I've done some other things. It's crazy. But if you guys really, really care to see these things, then I'll I'll do it for you guys. Anyways, let's end off here by with this 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 last picture. On the left side is this plaster sculpture I made. The idea behind the project was to make something that's unrecognizable as something as anything that exists. So I made some kind of weird shapeish sort of thing. This was made in 2000, uh, either 11 or, or, or 10. How you, how I did it was pretty cool. You take the like, plaster, you add water or whatever in like a empty milk carton. Then it, it sort of dries. You mix it and stuff. It sort of dries. And then you sort of chip it away at it first with like a hammer and whatever. Then later on with sandpaper. And it, it took a lot of some time and it turned out pretty good. On the right side, it's just like it was made with clay or something. For some reason, oddly enough, my drawing teacher came in and gave everyone a bunch of clay and so. And said, make something, make an animal. I'm like, okay, I'll make a giraffe. And it turned out pretty horribly. It's a pretty, it's a pretty bad giraffe, if you ask me. But it's kind of cute in a weird way. I like it. Later on, we had to like draw the giraffe or whatever your animal was. And a bunch of times, it, it a good project to in total. I made the giraffe in 2014. I really, really don't often make sculptures. Anyways, let's move on. And that's it for today in this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing my art. As much as I enjoyed making my art, and you know, the point of the art is you see it, right? It's for other people to enjoy. That's how it works. That's, that's sort of the, the philosophy I go to go for for when I make videos and stuff. Anyways, in the background here is my computer setup. I thought might as well show it since I have it on this camera and I've been taking pictures of all the other art and stuff. Might as well show you guys my computer setup just in case you guys were wondering. This computer, it's it's, it's, it's old, but it's pretty reliable and awesome. I bought it. The week that Windows 7 came out, and still has Windows 7 on it, because Windows 8 sucks! Anyways, so, you know, old and reliable, but pretty good. The place where all the magic happens, really. Anyways, and anyone out there who would like to purchase any of these pieces of art, contact me. I'm a dirt poor art student, and it would really help me out to sell one of these. And that sums up the video, um, thanks for watching, like if you enjoyed, and subscribe for more videos like this one. Au revoir!